Welcome to Channel AMEC, your insight to the Australian visa system. Good day everyone, my name is Carl Young, your online YouTube visa consultant. Are you interested about migrating to Australia? Why don't you consider to subscribe to my channel and turn on a little bell inside so once we have all the updates and news, you'll be the first one of getting all the insight. Now today, I, well not I, we and everyone is expecting a newly sworn in ministers uh, for the new government of Australia. Obviously the uh, election uh, took uh, on the 21st of May and there's a big change of the government of Australia. Hopefully it will bring a lot of hopes and I believe from all my predictions there will be certainly a lot of hope and new policies uh, in order to increase the number of migrants in Australia and the intakes for the coming future. Why? Because the economy is the problem. Uh, the post-pandemic era, there's so much challenges around the world and globally, and plus inflation and all the rises of uh, goods and uh, services over costs. So immigration policies will be really vital. Despite of the uh, Prime Minister uh, Anthony Albanese uh, did not put the minister, the minister for uh, immigration as the front uh, in the center of the policy procedure, but I believe it will still be a key driven uh, area to towards all the issues that uh, connecting uh, the entirely na national entirely of the Australia. So in this video, we would like to have a look who is gonna be the new minister for immigration and how that will affect you and at the end of this uh, video i'll also uh, give a little hints of what's coming and um, what's happening so stay tuned out to the end so let's have a look so uh, the newly sworn in minister of immigration will be andrew giles i, I was gonna pronounce giles but uh it's actually giles uh the new australian immigration and citizenship minister i assume that they will be a change perhaps in the departmental's name because every time uh, a new government comes in they always change the immigration's name so it used to be uh department of immigration and become department of immigration and citizenship and be become australia uh, department of immigration citizenship and multicultural and also it become Department of Border Protection and it be become Department of Home Affairs. This is too many names. So over about 20 years of my uh, practices in immigration law. Uh, but anyway, whatever the name that is, that's going to be uh, immigration. Okay, so dealing with the visas and migrations. So uh, Andrew, yes, the new Albanese cabinet, which include 10 women, uh, will be sworn in on Wednesday morning, which is going to be, I, I think they just got that done a uh, couple minutes ago uh, let's have a look uh, of uh, Andrew Giles profile and uh, we'll see how that will fit and how that will affect us uh, a certain Prime Minister Anthony Albanese has unveiled his cabinet after his Labour Party claim 77th seats that's gonna be a majority so which is good that means the government will be stable uh, they will not uh, fully rely on the cross benches or the opposition parties to um, legislate whatever the law that they're looking for so a major change that was we are expecting for the upcoming three years um, in compared to the previous uh, former government so this is exciting team uh, with the talents uh, this is largest number of women so which is good that, that means it's a uh, you see, Labour government is always uh, more towards gender, uh, gen gender equality, and also the uh, multicultural promoting multiculturalism. So uh, that's what they are aiming for. Immigration portfolio uh, not in the cabinet. That means not in the front and center of the cabinet, but it's. Uh, it's still going to be vital. So Anthony Albany says, put immigration portfolio into outer ministry, uh, handing it over to Andrew Giles, who represents the electorate, uh, electorate of uh, Scotland in Melbourne North. After 
and being announced the Minister of Immigration, Mr. Giles said, it's an incredible honor to take on the role in, as a Minister of Immigration, Citizenship and Multicultural Affairs. You see that name is very, very long. Uh, and that was the previous name they had while uh, Labour was uh, in position of a government, uh, oh, I don't know, back in, uh, at least nine years ago. Um, I, I forgot when. Anyway, that was the name back then. Uh, in Albanese's Labour government, <clears throat> there is so much work to be done, of course, because it's a mess now. There's so many backlogs, so many delays. Uh, what about all the employment visas? I, I pointed out a lot of issues there. Uh, it should all be fixed. Uh, and how we rebuild can't wait to get restarted. Andrew was elected a member of Scotland back in 2013. So 2013, interestingly, that's uh, I think that's when uh, that's just when the uh, Liberal government took over, I think. Um, during the previous Scott Morrison government, Mr. Giles was a shadow minister of multicultural affairs. He said he was committed to bring all Australians together to benefit from Australian multicultural diversity, working towards a country which no one is held back and no one is left behind. That's a very sound, a very good statement there. Immigration and social policy are his interest area, including cities, work future, climate change. He has contributed in public debate as well, policy formulation on these issues, improving health and democracy. So uh, here's the tweet that Andrew Giles uh, has done. Uh, Thank you, people of Scotland, again, placing trust in me. I won't let you down. Let's see what happens. Okay, now I'm going to take you to Wikipedia because currently there there's just not much of information and news in regards uh, this newly upcoming uh, Minister of Immigration. So uh, let's go into the Wikipedia where we can actually have a look of his um, profile and perhaps uh, a little chat about um, how Andrew will actually perform in regards to uh, the issues that we're going to address for the upcoming three years or perhaps six years. I think Labour will be uh, easily taking as a uh, will be easily be a government uh, for six years. That's my predictions because every time uh, general election took place every three years, uh, I believe Labour will win next after three years of from this date so anyway let's see what happens okay now let's um jump into the uh wikipedia so again and andrew james giles born 31st of july to th- uh, 1973 very young politician um has been labor member and house rep since uh september 2013 uh, uh from melbourne victoria currently minister of immigration citizenship so that's just right the uh wikipedia has just updated that yesterday so uh, it's very interesting how they gonna how this guy will actually perform a uh, prior to the election apartment work as a principal lawyer so he is a lawyer has a law degree this is very 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 good uh why because at least you get the backbone you understand the backbone of all the legality and legislations how that were connected uh slayton and gordon is one of the largest law firm in australia and he was the principal lawyer there so uh, that's a very credible background there uh practicing in employment law so what do we expect i think there will be a lot of um employer related visa uh changes coming up for sure because the current um policy is just not i don't well it's working but i don't think it's the the turbine is actually working fine as what people expected uh giles previously served as shadow Min- assistant minister of school between 2016 and 2019 and a shadow minister for multicultural affairs and shadow minister of city and urban infrastructure in 2019 to 2022. So he would know um, how uh, the former government uh, how they have failed uh, with their lies about getting all the migrants out of the city and there's no congestion anymore. So that was a lie. Uh, he would straight no line because he was the shadow minister for city and urban infrastructure. It's all about the infrastructure, not the migrants, you see. Um, Giles also previously served as one of two federal parliamentary convener uh, for Labour left factions. So uh, I'm going to skip the early live education. Well, you, if you want to have a look at that one, you may want to um, 
and check them out. Uh, parliamentary career. I think I'm gonna point you to where it says. Uh, let me search it. Uh, oh, here we go. That's the word I wanted to find. Refugee. Now, why do I want to find that one? Here we go. That's the key thing over here. I wanted to let everybody have a read. He acted as a solicitor. So back before he become a politician, while he was a lawyer, okay, he holding senior associate holding Redlich lawyer and consultants. He act as a solicitor for refugees stand abroad the Tampa. Okay, so I think that's a very good profile as what we are expecting a new um, minister for immigration to come in. Why at least we have somebody who will be sh showing a compassion to refugees. Now that's very important because uh, a minister of immigration, if he doesn't have the compassion for people for the people in in the weak side, um, and only looking forward for all these investors and big pe big players with monies and things. That won't work. That that's what that's what's happened in the past years, where they all, there's only big players comes in and got the visa and things. But the people with the weaknesses, for example, uh, how the former government had deal with the uh, refugees and the and the asylum seekers um, and put them into um, Christmas Island and things like that, temporary protection visa, never get never become permanent. Uh, which which is right in a way to not allowing people coming by boat, uh, but if you go too much further, you you are actually blocking a legitimate uh, refugee or asylum claim uh, people. So that that's also wrong too. So everything required to be balanced. So what we see here in a democratic uh, process over the past weeks in Australia is actually very good. Uh, so the change of government, I, I'm pretty welcome on this one because the, the former government has been there for nine years, and they have perhaps pushing too far. Uh, and obviously, what I have if you have followed my channel long enough, uh, the virus COVID nineteen basically has broken out all their previous political claims and become lies. Uh, obviously. Uh, a change of government took place a couple of weeks ago. So what's going to happen next? Okay, I'm um, pretty happy about the ministers, a new minister of immigration coming up. I assume that what's going to happen in the next few weeks, one or two perhaps, because they are going to sit in the parliamentary uh, start from 1st of July, whether or not there will be a change and increase of annual migrant intake. And that will I assume all the territory and state government are sending their representative, their, their migration department, sending uh, the state migration department, are sending all their representative to Andrew. And there will be a big talk on how a new immigration policy will be coming up. So stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Turn a little bell on the side. So once we have all that information, you'll be the first one getting insight. Anyway, I see you next week and see you next video. Goodbye.